eating the jerk bait. Oh, I'm afraid I don't have anything in my mouth. <laughs> you just swat at it, probably? Maybe we should, maybe we should pass jerk bait all around. Yeah, I think we might have to. They swatted at it. that against him. <laughs> oh, look at that. Water. There you go. Nice Smallmouth small. bass fishing on the north branch of the Susquehanna. It's fall. Stay tuned. It's a little cold. It's going to be a good one. All right. Look at that. That's a nice fat fish. Look oh, that. yeah. It's yeah. probably filled with crayfish. Yeah. There's a nice smallie. Caught your jerk bait? Yeah. We're on to something here. Come here, sweetheart. You can come up here. I'll bring you in. Another nice small mouth. Very nice. I'm up on the north branch of the Susquehanna River. Mm -hmm. My good friend Lance from LD Guide Service. Nice thing about it, he always invites me up when it's good fishing. Right. Lance, talk about what we have here, what time of year, and what we're really doing up on the, on the North Branch here. Well, we're up here in uh, early October. We're up for the fall bite. The fall, uh, the fish are starting to turn on a little bit. Uh, they're feeding up for the winter. You can see he's got a very big belly to him. He's probably <laughs> filled with crayfish, <laughs> even though we're using jerk baits. He's a solid but fish. Uh, but they're getting uh, very aggressive. And the jerk baits are working. We're bringing them in three to four foot of water just off the top of the rocks. Mm -hmm. And those fish are down in the rocks and they're coming up to the, just over the top of the rocks and, and nailing it. Actually, one of the good things about it, we didn't have to get too up. We had to get up early to get here. Right. But the fishing doesn't have to start too early. So you have right. to wait till the sun gets up on the water. Yeah, let it get a little bit uh, warm. Uh, we started out at say uh, 54 degrees, uh, which is, Pretty good, but when that sun came out and raised it just a couple of degrees, we did great. All right, let's get back and catch some more fish. Great. <laughs> Boy, he's a spunky one. <laughs> I think all smallmouths are spunky. Oh, yes. <laughs> they never give up, they always fight hard. Took that right in his mouth. Oh yes, he, he did like that jerk bait, that's for sure. Bring him right in here. Okay, very nice. Take this out quickly. Well those fish are fat. Man. Beautiful Man. colors Man. this time of year. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. Susquehanna Smalley. Now, Lance, you just you mentioned Susquehanna Smalley. Mm -hmm. And I had mentioned ooh, the North Branch. Explain to our listeners what, the, what actually the North Branch consists of. Well, the North Branch starts up at the New York border and continues south. Oh, and it ends in Sunbury, where it meets the main branch. The Susquehanna is 444 miles long. Mm -hmm. uh, the North Branch, which goes up into New York, is probably, uh, I'll say, uh, 250 of it. Wow. Wow, that's pretty good. And the topography that we have here, it, it, was it just a flat area? Or what, what's actually holding the fish where, where we're fishing here? Well, you can see here on the uh, east side, we have heavy rock, mm -hmm. big boulders. Mm -hmm. It'll go out to the center, and then uh, on the other side is where you're going to have the gravel come up. So in the fall and during the summer, these fish are going to be down here mm -hmm. in this big rocks after the crayfish, the minnows hide down in there. That's what's holding them. Mm -hmm. About the only time you'll see them over in the gravel side is uh, 
uh, pre-spawn or spawn, mm -hmm. they'll be over there mm -hmm. uh, making their beds. Now, I know you fish cold water too, I mean, going into December and, mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. Now the fish, will they typically stay in these same areas or do they move out and winter up places or what? Well, there are specific winter holes. Okay. And the winter hole is uh, most commonly the deepest, slowest point in the immediate area. Mm -hmm. Now these smallies aren't gonna go like miles. Mm -hmm. They're gonna go more like a couple hundred yards to the deepest, slowest spot. Mm -hmm. And then there's a sit in there. They'll sit in there for the winter. Mm -hmm. Now, again, we were just talking, we, this is a great jerk bait here. Tell us just a little bit about the, the jerk bait that we, uh, we have. Well, today we're going to use and have been using the, uh, the Rapala. It's an x wrap size number eight. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm particularly fond of the gold. Uh, up here, it's, it's almost always stained color. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the uh, orange belly works quite often. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, is it, maybe it's that crayfish type color. Th there you go, mm -hmm. that would be it. All right. I'm gonna get back into work. This Sounds time. great. Fish just fight so hard. They just never give up. Just never give up. All right, come here. Come here. Oh. No, 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 no. There we go. Oh. Nice chunky fish. Yeah. Nice chunky fish. On a jerk bait. I'm a jerk bait, yeah. yeah. Now, as we moved a little bit up through some real shallow water we ran through. About three or four inches, yeah. I recall. And one of the things that uh, we haven't mentioned is the fact that we're, we are using a jet boat up here. You pretty much a, a necessity, am I correct? That's correct. That's correct. You, you'll never get into the remote areas mm -hmm. without a jet boat. Yeah. Uh, you would have the option to go to one town and float all day to another town, but you are committed for <laughs> a long day. A long day is right. Pop this out. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. All right, get back in there. What I was doing and I was laughing about it, uh, with the jerk baits, and again, you had mentioned it, um, during the winter time, you really have to slow the bait down and, and wait what? For, oh, sometimes five to 10 seconds. It, it's an eternity, you think. Yeah. It, because you're just waiting there. Mm -hmm. And what, what we're doing here, again, um, it's a jerk, jerk, pause. Or now, Do you vary that much, Lance, or do you just stick with the usual? No, I, I, I vary it. I want to see what the fish want. Mm -hmm. Today, they want a little bit more of an erratic because every time we jerk it, that jerk bait's going to flash on its side. Mm -hmm. So it seems to me in this uh, algae-stained water, mm -hmm. they want a little more of that flash. And we've got the sun on it, so it'll, it'll mm -hmm. do it. And you just, That's right. So you're, you're, you're actually pulling it pretty hard, too. You're really jerking it down yeah, pretty bringing good. It, bringing it down really making good. it flash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, he got off. Just using that jerk bait, but the sun has come up and, and raised the water temperature up, what, about three, four degrees? That's correct, that? yeah. yeah. So these fish are, are reacting a little bit. That was a good hit, that one. That, yeah. was, that was a good tap. I noticed he slammed it. Yeah, he came out. We were just talking about how they weren't jumping. Right. Seems like you jumped. Lance, I mean, that, that was a small mouth and a, and a nice one. Uh, what other uh, fish do they have up here in the North Branch? Well, uh, probably our second most popular fish is the walleye. Mm -hmm. We get quite a few in the uh, cooler waters. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't surprise me if we got one today. And uh, also we have uh, channel cats, rock bass, and uh, of course the all-important northern pike and musky. Mm -hmm. Now, are, are they plentiful or again, do you just sometimes well, get Well, the, uh, the musky are, are kind of far and few between. Mm -hmm. Typical C 